All right, so we're going to use what's called a tape diagram to solve this problem right here. What is three-fourths of 20? Okay, so um, another way we can think of this, since we're finding a part of a whole number here, or uh, three-fourths of 20, uh, we can actually think of this as three-fourths times 20. And uh, we're going to use the tape diagram uh, to help us figure that out. So first, I'm going to draw my tape, I guess you could say. And this whole figure, try to make that a little better there. This whole figure is equal to 20. And because... We want to find three fourths of 20. Uh, we're actually going to uh, divide this whole tape diagram into four equal units. All right. And so now we need to figure out what three fourths or three of the four units equals, if four of the units equals 20. So four units is equal to 20. And in order to figure out how many, or how much three units would be worth, we need to figure out what one unit would be worth. And one unit is actually going to be equal to the total 20 divided by the denominator 4. And if you guys remember, uh, division and fractions are really the same thing. So um, we have 20 over 4, or 20 fourths, and we can simplify that by dividing the numerator 20 by 4, and we get 5. And so um, one unit is actually equal to 5. And so if we want to know how much 3 units is equal to, we're going to do 3 times the value of one unit, which is 5. So we have 3 times 5, and we get 15. And so the answer to the question, what is three-fourths of 20? 15 is three-fourths of 20. And uh, we can see that if we know that one unit is equal to 5, we can just write in 5 in each section or each unit of our tape diagram. And we can see pretty clearly that three out of the four sections is equal to 15 because five plus five plus five is gonna give us 15. So that's an example of how we can use a tape diagram to solve a problem such as what is uh, three fourths of 20 or what is three fourths times 20.